have to feel sorry in many respects for Prince Harry, whether you like him or not. I mean, he's a bit of a, shall we say, loose cannon, but clearly he's taken a lot of hits for, to coin a phrase, the woman that he loves, the former cable TV actress Meghan Markle. You see, if you think about it, she's never come out personally and said too many negative things. Yes, she did the despicable curtsy to our late monarch and sort of skirted round things like she didn't scratch the surface of her time uh, inside, of course, the British monarchy. You know, those little bon knots that really don't say too much but get tantalising so the media will pick up on them. Harry, literally, as the kids say, has done everything. Attacked his family, been very negative on camera, called his stepmother dangerous. I mean, you couldn't really make it any worse than it is. So you can understand that when Harry gets a little bit of freedom, as he has of a couple of occasions, particularly, you know, when he's free of the clutches, the claw of Meghan Markle, you can understand he must relish the fact that finally he gets to become the celebrity that he's always known all of his life. He doesn't have to stand behind her, doesn't have to clutch a bag, doesn't have to applaud like a seal, simply for her reiterating once again the famous infamous soap story. You get the picture. But moving forward, as he comes back to the United Kingdom, this time to support one of the charities allegedly close to his heart, Well Child, well seemingly Meghan's now muscling in on that too. Let me explain. Hi, good to see you. You're all right. Thank you so much as ever for your time today. I'm glad that we're all feeling well. Well, we are, aren't we? Yes, well, we're trying, aren't we? Yes, well, you know, over here in the United Kingdom, we've been promised thunder and lightning. No, I haven't opened my wallet before you asked. No, <laughs> I know it would be like that, though, trust me. I think I'd be struck down if I opened my wallet, you know what I mean? On a serious note, though, it's funny. I was talking to a friend the other day and I said, every single thing, I know we often say this on the show, has just got worse. I bought this cream, you know, when you're getting a bit sort of like dry in the skin. Um, I'll say it, it's Nivea cream and it used to be really rich and you only needed a dot, you know, in the place that you needed. Even that's like water now. I mean, why do they bother? Because you just, well, I won't buy that now, you know. Only got it because it was an offer. I know, this is the thing, you see, that's the problem. <laughs> Back as ever, though, to your role story of the day. The World Child Awards is something that um, Prince Harry likes to attend. He's got emotional on occasions, you know. Some people said rather dramatically. Some people say he wanted the attention. Whichever way, it is an event, though, that really was, you know, he's been going at it uh, long before he met Meghan Markle. It's one that gets him a lot of positive publicity and actually I would say he seems very well connected with the children you know maybe he likes them because they don't answer back must be a bit of a revelation for him but as Harry now decides to make his return back here to the United Kingdom one would have thought this would be his moment to shine you know he didn't get any of that in Colombia he certainly didn't get any of that in Nigeria and his birthday party looked something like of a well a very damp squib didn't it whatever you think hitting 40 no family that sort of stuff Moving forward, this is where I think it becomes really interesting because now, according to a very well-placed source, as ever, allegedly, Meghan apparently is offering to give some support to the Well Child Awards. Um, well, sort of. Let me explain, you see. Uh, apparently, she's offering to record a very personal special message to all the children explaining why, once again, she can't be there. Won't mention the word security, but she'll probably drop mega hints on that. And she'd like that played out. Uh, Harry's got to ask right and and then he'd have to embut his own speech while they cut to Meghan haunting the room even though she's not actually in the United Kingdom you see now apparently the video has been made and apparently you know there's sort of conversations about it nothing firm yet it just goes back to the fact that you know clearly whatever he's doing she feels she has to insert herself in like the Invictus Games marching in front of the veterans all that sort of stuff but when she's doing something independently Harry sat in the stalls clapping away enthusiastically enthusiastically once again about the soap story and one might suggest exactly how split in the middle and fair is this marriage do I think they'll play the video I think they'll be stupid if they do but then again as Harry said what Meghan wants Meghan gets maybe she could get the World Child Awards too I'll keep you posted Neil Sean in the very heart of London